We're returning to one of my favorite tutorials, but this time we're expanding just to show you how versatile it is. At the top, we have an image carousel. Below it, we have a testimonial carousel. The third one is the loop grid carousel. So you can use a loop grid for your post or your products and it just kind of carousels through. And down below, we just have our traditional slider. I'm gonna show you how we can enable smooth auto scrolling on lots of different widgets, as you can see on the screen right here. First thing I'm gonna do is get rid of the navigation. Let's go to the image carousel and let's just say, no, we don't wanna see any of that. I'm gonna go to my testimonial carousel, do the same there. Let's do the image carousel first. Now I have set it to show five slides. That's okay, you can go with three, five, six, whatever you wanna go for. What is important though is the slides to scroll is one. If you increase that to be a three, then you're gonna get a bit of a jump. So make sure that is set to one. Don't worry, it will be really smooth. Then go down to additional options. Now I'm gonna leave the autoplay as on. It's up to you if you wanna have any pause on interaction or hover, that's entirely up to you. If there were links in there or it's gonna take them to another page, it would make sense to do that. Here's the really, really important bit. The autoplay speed should be set to zero. And you're probably gonna think that doesn't make sense. You know, because look right now, look at it, it's really static and duck, 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 duck. it's like that stuttering. Don't worry. We're also gonna set the animation speed to be three and a half thousand because I have found three and a half thousand is pretty good. Now you're gonna go, oh look, it's moving now at a gradual rate but it moves and stops, moves and stops, sees that. And we're gonna sort that out with a tiny little bit of CSS. Down to custom CSS and drop this in over here. Now my image carousel is moving smoothly. If I think that is too slow and you want it to be a little bit quicker, fine, just go to your additional options and where we have the speed set at three and a half thousand, go for two and a half. You might need to refresh or update the page and it will start to speed up. I mean, if you do go for something ridiculously fast, you are, that's not perfectly smooth, but I have found 3,000, even three and a half thousand, you know, they are kind of my sweet spots, the speeds that I like to go for. Let's now go and do the same on the testimonial carousel. We're gonna have slides per view is three. I'm gonna say slides to scroll is one. Go down to additional options, make sure all of those are off. The transition duration, I'm gonna set at three and a half thousand. The auto play speed is set to zero. Leave the auto play on, infinite loop, yeah. If you've got any links in it, it would make sense to have pause on hover animation. I'll leave them on for now anyway. And then we're gonna go over to the advanced tab. Go down to custom CSS and again, drop that little bit of code in. Right, now let's go into the loop carousel. Same kind of thing, slides to show, we're gonna have four. Slides to scroll is always one. We go down to the settings, autoplay, yes. Uh, the speed will be zero. Pause on hover, we'll leave that on. Infinite scroll, yes, and we'll go with the duration is three and a half thousand again. Notice this. Remember, the speed is kind of like zero, but it's the duration of how long things take to move over. That's the key bit. Let's go to advanced tab. And by the way, if you do put the numbers in the wrong place, three and a half thousand or zero, it's really easy to swap over. Let's go and drop that in over there. And now let's go to the slider as well. Slider options, uh, autoplay, da, 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 da. The speed is gonna be set to a zero and the transition duration, we're gonna set that to be a three and a half thousand as well. By the way, I'm gonna get rid of that content animation because I don't always like it when it does that. Go down to custom CSS. It is the same code we're dropping in. And if we now view this on a preview page, look at what we have over here. They are just auto scrolling very, very nicely, <laughs> okay? I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. The code for this is in the video description. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit